you only have to do 10. I think Chris's mod is more like 40 points worth of mods. So don't feel like you have to do everything Chris did. Let me open up his. So you're going to share a link to the file. And so his link looks like. All right. So his version. So this is an example of some of the options you have for modding. You only have to do like two of these. Uh, so obviously it's colored. That's a fairly straightforward mod to make. Uh, we have a helmet, we have a gun, we have articulated legs, and we have an, uh, a, uh, a secondary figure. So all of those are points. Uh, I think the secondary figure is 15, articulated legs are 10, helmets five, guns five, colors three. The goal is to get something like 10, 10 points worth of mods. So to show you this, let me see if I can sign in. I'll just show you to make something that goes in a hand. So I've kind of helped out a number of kids now. So, okay, so let me jump over to my on shape. I'm going to go back to the Lego figure. And so one of the easy things to do is I'll call this. This is going to be my A13.4 from Fog. Uh, and so one of the easy things to do is color things. So if you haven't colored, you can just go over to the actual part. You can click on the part and edit the appearance and you could change the color to whatever you want. Uh, if you go back to the assembly, that head will have that color. So changing colors, edit appearance, you just have to have the part file showing. What I wanted to show though was, let's say I wanted to put something in his hand. And so to do that, I'm gonna go to the hand file. What I need to figure out is what is the diameter of the circle that makes his hand. Uh, to do that, I can look at the sketch that makes the hand. So if I edit the sketch, uh, it'll show me the dimensions. So if I look at the sketch, uh, the dimensions of the circle that makes his hand is a diameter of three. So if I want something to fit in his hand, that's going to be my big dimension I want to make. And you guys can kind of use this information. So to do that now, so now that I know that I'm going to add a new part file. So I'm going to create a new part studio. Uh, and this part studio, I'm going to call it a, I'm going to rename it. Let me rename, rename. I'm going to call it, I'll just do a, we'll do a Lego uh, laser gun. So we'll do a little, some type of Lego gun thing. So to start that, again, pretty standard. I want to make a cylinder of three centimeters diameter. So I'm going to go to a sketch. I usually sketch on the top plane. I'm going to drop in a cylinder uh, centered at the circle. So drop in that. Uh, and I want to make the diameter three millimeters. So it's pretty small. Uh, we will say done. And then for things that fit in his hand, uh, I find that five millimeters is like a good kind of hand size. So we'll do a five millimeter extrusion and that'll be the, 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 the hilt of the gun, if that makes sense. So that's my first thing. If I go back to isometric, so now I have this shape that I can start building. So to make a, some type of gun system, I'm going to put a rectangle on top. So I'm going to insert another sketch on top of this one. Uh, this is going to be a rectangle. I'll use a center point rectangle. Uh, I'm going to center it. I'm going to switch over to the top. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. So now I'm going to make a rectangle that is about the same width as my handle. So that means the width should, I'm going to make the length uh, eight for no good reason. I'm going to make the width three, which will be the same size as my diameter. So now I have a rectangle that's centered on top of my handle. Uh, so that'll be our second part, isometric. And then now what I can do is I can extrude this again. When I extrude it, you want to make sure you 
it comes in as a new part. I don't want to make a new part. I want to add it to part one. And I don't want to just extrude the, I want to extrude the whole thing. So I'm going to click all the parts. So I'm going to pick the center and that. So I'm going to extrude the whole thing. And I don't want it to be 25 millimeters. I'm thinking if the handle's five, maybe the base of the gun is going to be like three. Oh, what happened here? Let's try that again, edit. So let's select all that three millimeters merge scope. We want to add you let me try that one more time it's it's not happy with me let me try to uh oop, not in the sketch let's try to extrude one more time i'm going to pick all the surfaces okay pick all the surfaces i want to go three millimeters let's get judah in here and try that okay it looks like so now essentially if you were making a sword it would be the same way you can make that thinner taller uh so right now i have a handle i have a kind of something on top of that you could make this into a sword you can make this into a really any type of thing a baseball bat you could do another cylinder on top so any type of thing you want to make but the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to now going to put a barrel on the front so whichever way i want to call the front i'm not really sure what that is but i'll go back to isometric uh, and so i'm going to pick this right side to be my front so i'm going to rotate to the right zoom in a little bit okay and then the last thing i'm going to do is do one more sketch on the front of this guy i'm going to add another circular piece i want to go from the middle of this guy so let's see if i can find the middle oh no not that type of circle i'm going to do a center point circle a center point circle yeah we want to go from the middle Where's my middle? Am I able to find that middle? That's the line. Okay, well, we'll call. I could do. And then I'm gonna go out some distance. Uh, why don't I make that an even two? Uh, and then the last thing I'll do is do one last extrusion of this uh, one, I'm gonna again, add it to the previous part and I'm gonna extrude it. Let's see, my handle's five, my middle part's eight. I'm gonna go with a another five millimeter barrel. And if I go back to isometric, I now have something that kind of resembles kind of a simple type of, what do you wanna call it, Lego gun. We're going to do it. So the last thing I can do is I can add this to my assembly. So again, I'll go back to my assembly. I'm going to insert this new one, which is my Lego laser gun. Uh, and uh, obviously I need to put it in a hand. So I'm going to, maybe I'll mount the hand real quick since I need to kind of get it in there. So all right, so I have a hand now mounted. Uh, the last thing is I want to mount the gun in the hand. And that's going to be a net. I'm going to do a revolute mate. Uh, and I'm going to mount the center of the handle. So I'm going to mount the center of the handle right here to the center of his. Okay, I think I got that one. To the center of the. Uh, of his hand let's see if i can get the hand the center of his hand is something like that when i do that the gun kind of snaps in there i'm pretty happy and i should be able to go back to isometric i should be able to rotate it yeah maybe there we go and so now i have a a lego kind of gun or laser or whatever you want to call it. You could do a similar thing with a sword, uh, just kind of stacking more pieces on top. So again, if I want to do a sword, I might get rid of this one and put another longer piece on top. Uh, I can make this middle guard thinner, but you kind of get the idea. So that's some ideas for doing the mod on 13.4. I'm going to take questions. I think I've been lagging on questions. So I missed a bunch, sorry. Uh, wait, wait, uh, 
Sendo a vinda de